Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Giant Natural Super Cube An amazing place has been discovered where strange rock forms excite researchers' imagination. The cube is about 23 meters or 75 feet high, with two fairly flat edges at a 90-degree angle. This place is located in the state of Wyoming, USA, and in the narrow circles of dedicated, among the climbers, it is quite famous, there is one of the extreme routes to the Deidre Cliffs. The Wall of the Dihedrals. In translation, it sounds something like fulling block, or cube. According to the official version, this is a natural occurrence. Star forts or bastion forts. These structures are known as star forts which can be found all over the world on every continent. These structures could have had many purposes, or just one. Some think they were using them for free energy, or even for military reasons. Others think they were able to move around from sea to land. The truth is, we don't fully know the purpose of these structures, but we do know that these were not built recently or by the people we were told that built them. The sacred geometry is clear, and in using nature's energy force. The perfect lines and angles that would have taken serious engineering, and to even excavate, would have taken quite a lengthy time simple people of the time, I think not. Doesn't mean this is all Tartarian, we have to be careful not to be led down a false path. Tartaria was real, but in my opinion, more a free trade nation with many other nations and knowledge back and forth with one another. There were all kinds of knowledge around through different periods of time and history from what we can see. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Another article of Giants Found, coming from the New York Times in 1902. Discovered in New Mexico. Any follow-up on this has gone unreported. In the article it says. Los Angeles, California, February 10. Owing to the discovery of the remains of a race of giants in Guadalupe, New Mexico, antiquarians and archaeologists are preparing an expedition further to explore that region. This determination is based on the excitement that exists among the people of a scope of country near Mesa Rico, about 200 miles southeast of Las Vegas, where an old burial ground has been discovered that has yielded skeletons of enormous eyes. Luciana Quintana, on whose ranch the ancient burial plot is located, discovered two stones that bore curious inscriptions, and beneath these were found in shallow excavations the bones of a frame that could not have been less than 12 feet in length. The men who opened the grave say the forearm was 4 feet long, and that in a well-preserved jaw, the lower teeth ranged from the size of a hickory nut to that of the largest walnut in size. The chest of the being is reported as having a circumference of 7 feet. Quintana, who has uncovered many other burial places, expresses the opinion that perhaps thousands of skeletons of a race of giants long extinct will be found. This supposition is based on the traditions handed down from the early Spanish invasion that have detailed knowledge of the existence of a race of giants that inhabited the plains of what now is eastern New Mexico. Indian legends and carvings also in the same section indicate the existence of such a race. 
The New York Times, published on February 11, 1902. According to the old maps of the 1500s, these lands were once connected. The proportions of the continents and the relief of the coastline of South America are perfectly observed. If you look closely at today's Google Map images, you will see a rounded trail near Drake's Passage. To me it looks like it had been done with intent, like a precision hit. If there was some kind of event dividing the lands, many people would be affected by such a catastrophe, and surely it would be known around the world, unless it was kept under wraps. What do you think? The way of travel by flight. Our past seemed to be far more progressive and inventive. People seem to be able to think outside the box for a period of time before the education indoctrination system took over. Destroying creativity and out-of-the-box thinking at such a young age was the key for control. I bet if you wanted to fly off to the North Polar Antarctica back then it would be easier as nobody could stop you. Our way of travel today is so rigid and boring. They want our planes to be the only way of flight. The Hindenburg was destroyed on purpose to eradicate airships and to control means of travel. What do you think? The key to wisdom. Secrets from the Emerald Tablet. Wisdom is power and power is wisdom. One with each other, perfecting the whole. Be thou not proud, O man, in thy wisdom. Discourse with the ignorant as well as the wise. If one comes to thee full of knowledge, listen and heed, for wisdom is all. Keep thou not silent when evil is spoken for, truth like the sunlight shines above all. They that are guided go not astray, but they that are lost cannot find a straight path. If thou go among men, make for thyself. Love, the beginning and end of the heart. Reach ever upward, O soul of the morning. Turn thy thoughts upward to light and to life. Hind in the keys of the numbers I bring thee, light on the pathway from life unto life. Seek ye with wisdom. Turn thy thoughts inward. Close not thy mind to the flower of light. All through the ages, the light has been hidden. Awake, O man, and be wise. Masters of wisdom, son of the morning light and life. To the children of men. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us, see you in the next video.